How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is November 9th. I am dressed up as you can tell. They're have a meeting downtown and this is pretty much where we're going right now. We will try to do our best today to give you guys something different. Uh, Don is actually vlogging uh, from home. I'm staying home, I have some stuff to do here, but we're both gonna try to vlog and then we're gonna try to put it together to make one. I need to finish those dressers so we don't have stuff all over the floor of our bedroom anymore. As everyone knows, I broke Matt's camera. It needs to get repaired or we have to order a new lens we don't really know yet. Yeah, Matt's gonna be using his GoPro. I'm using my DSLR. I've never really used it to film on before, but I think Matt has a couple of times. Yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. She's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing today. I'm actually shooting on the GoPro, as you guys know. My camera broke yesterday. I'm going to get it fixed. Oh man, the mountains are all covered. Vlogging and driving is dangerous. Don't do it. Holy crap. Okay, one thing that's amazing being out here than Toronto is the weather. We hate winters. We hate snow. Though it is gloomy. But it is six degrees. What? That's nice. This morning I woke up. I'm outside with no jacket. No jacket. No jacket. Tesla. I just put laundry in. So yeah, I was working on these dressers. They're now mint green. The drawers are, I wanted a more cream color, but they ended up more white, but whatever. I'm not repainting them again. I'm not, I'm not buying more paint. Um, for one of the dressers that I'm doing, I'm, uh, I'm painting a design on it. Yeah, I kind of waited till last minute to draw out a design. I was thinking either doing this, two separate sections of the dresser. So we either have this option or I'm going to drop something else right now, which is why I'm sitting at the table with a piece of paper. First stop. Alright, what a waste of time. I'm sorry, I know this is going to be a rant, but like if I bring a camera, a lens to get fixed, don't ask me how much a lens costs and then tell me, oh, to fix it is going to cost the exact same amount. That's to buy it. Uh, hi, how's it going? Um, I was just wondering, uh, how much would it cost to uh, fix this lens? How much does the lens usually cost? Um, I don't know, like, I think it's like $200. The repair is going to be $200, yeah. Your destination will be on the left. Okay, so the best thing about when you're driving in Vancouver is that you can actually pay for parking right off your phone. Ding! This hour has 60 minutes. The next thing up on the list, and that is, got my laptop fixed the other day. The side of the keyboard doesn't work, so I'm gonna try to bring it back to them and see if they can, uh, and see what's up. They said they can replace the keyboard. Also, there's now drawers and dressers all over our living room. We live in an apartment, we don't have that much space, so. Okay, so I have these birds almost like drawn out. Give me one second and I will show you. Okay, so I dropped off my laptop and an iPhone for Don to get fixed. Good. He said he'll fix it for free because I ended up fixing the hard drive or the logic board. That's it. I think that's it. I'm going back home now. I'm going to cut Don's vlog into this one so you can see what she's up to. What the hell is that? I paid for parking. You guys even saw me. I paid for parking. Why do I get a ticket? Paid. I'm vlogging. I even have proof. Look, right here is a text message that I got on my phone saying that my time is still expiring. Suck it, parking. Oh! But now I'll never know because I lost the ticket. This design or there's this bird design because people like birds. People like silhouettes of birds. You put like a bird on something and people will buy it. I don't know why. Put a bird on it. I don't know why, but people love little silhouettes of birds. Put a bird on it! People like birds, so I feel like, one, it's easier to draw or paint. I'm not an artist, so this is just a simpler thing for me to do. Spend more time, I kind of want my clothes off the floor. What do you guys think? Because I am painting the white on top of the, the mint green, I don't want to use pencil, and we don't have pencil crayons for some reason anymore, but I do have this marking pencil for that you use for sewing. So I'm gonna try doing that, but I need a pencil sharpener and I can't find one. So apparently I didn't plan this out very well. I found pencil shavings, which is a hint that there is a pencil sharpener somewhere. Okay, so I forgot about my laundry, obviously. Can't find a white pencil cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> this video is like only about the sharpener. I tried using that 
marking stick for fabric and it's just not working. I can't see anything. Search again, but I'm pretty sure we threw out all of our pencil crayons before we moved out here because why would you move out west with a bunch of pencil crayons? <laughs> I am learning why now. Okay, so I found these. And I've had these forever and I don't really want to sharpen them because they're just so old. Does anybody remember these? <laughs> when the Laurentian pencil crayons came in this plastic case. None of them are even sharpened yet. But there is a white pencil crayon on in here. So I don't know what to do. So I'm eating now. I'm having a break. You can't rush important decisions like sharpening pencil crayons and deciding between birds or vintage designs, so toast it is. So I decided to sharpen the pencil crayon. It will be the one lonely pencil crayon sharpened in the... No, whatever. I'm probably going to sharpen them. Which reminds me, you can never have too much pencil crayon talk in a vlog. I guess back in the day when I was a child and I'm just having this memory now, I remember like me and my brother would get like a new pack of pencil crayons for each year of school when we were kids but I remember my mom sitting there and sharpening every single pencil crayon like on her own. We could not be trusted. <laughs> I'm home. Did you vlog? See how nice that is? Yeah. A quick shout out to Maya Zine TV. Sorry. <laughs> quick shout out to Maya Zine TV. Thank you for retweeting our Twitter post. If you guys want to be the next week's or the next time we do a vlog, if you want us to give you guys a shout out, please retweet. The, this tweet that's gonna go out on Twitter, retweet it. You guys are gonna have a chance to get shot, a quick shout out next time we do a vlog. And is there anything else, Liza? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've been watching way too many vlogs. That's it. Thank you again. We'll see you soon. Bye. We need an ending.